Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to configure NAT that is Network Address Translation in Cisco Packet Tracer. Using NAT will enable a private network to communicate with the public network using public IPs. So we set up a topology with a two router, two switch, three PCs and one server. So we build a network topology. So I'm going to consider this network as a private network and this one as a public network. So let's configure this PC. I'll open up the PC2 here. So I'll go to desktop. In the IP configuration, I'll give the IP for address as the 10.10.10.1 and give the submit mask and also default gateway as 10.10.0. So I'll close this. Then I'll open up the server desktop IP configuration and give the IP for address as 10.10.10.2 and the subnet mask and default gateway as 10.10.0 so I'll also go to services so I'll enable the HTTP and HTTPS services so I'll also edit index.html so I'll change the Cisco package tracer as YouTube so I'll save this so I'm going to configure PC1 here. So I'll go to desktop, IP configuration, and I'll give the IP for address as 20.20.20.1 and the subnet mask. Default gateway will be 20.20.0. So I also add the IP address to the PC0.2 and the subnet mask and default gateway will be 20.20.0. So after that, let's configure router 1. So I'll open up the router 1. Go to config tab in that in the interface section so i'll go to fa0 slash 0 because router 1 is connected to switch to fa0 slash 0 so i'll turn on the port status and give ip for address as the default gateway address that is 10.10.0 and also router 1 connected to router 0 to serial 2 slash 0 so i'll go to serial 2 slash 0 and turn on port status and give the ip for address as 30.30.1 and the subnet mask so after configuring serial 2 slash 0 so i'll close this i'll open up the router 0 so i'll go to config tab i'll go to fa0 slash 0 because the router 0 is connected to switch to fa0 slash 0 i'll turn on the port status and give the ip4 address as the default gateway address that is 20.20.20.0 and the subnet mask and now the router 0 is connected to router 1 to serial 2 slash 0 so go to serial 2 slash 0 and give the ipv4 address as 30.30.30.2 and give the subnet mask now let's configure nat in the router 1 so i'll open up the router 1 go to cli exit from this and give the nat command as ip nat inside source static now give the private address of the PC that is 10.10.10.1 and the public address will be 30.30.1 press enter and we also should give the another private address that is 10.10.2 which will be the server IP address press enter and we need to configure which is inside and which is outside go to fa0 slash 0 and we need to give fs0 slash 0 as an inside and a serial 2 slash as an outside. So ip nat inside. Now let's go to serial 2 slash 0 and we will gonna give as ip nat outside which is outside of the network. So exit from this. Now go to config tab in the static. We need to give the ip range of the public network that is 20 series give 20.0.0 .0 and the subnet mask as 255.0.0.0 the next hop where router 1 can access that network through is 30.30.30.2 so add this now close this now let's send the packets from private to public in progress and it's failed because for, for the first time it will fail now let's send again from pc2 to pc1 it's successful now i'm gonna send the packets from public to private 
where it will always fail because the public cannot be access the private network. So now let's ping the command from PC2 to PC1. Go to command prompt and give the IP address of the PC1 that is 20.20.20.1. So now we can get the reply from PC1 and, and all four packets send are received. Now I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to open up the PC1. Go to command prompt. Now let's ping the private network that is 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 destination host unreachable and cannot be accessed now let's access the public ip that is 30.30.30.1 as you can see it can be accessed now i'm going to close this i'm going to open up the web browser now let's give the IP address of the server that is the private network 10.10.10.2 now we cannot access the web page of the server. So now let's give the public IP address that is 30.30.1. Now we can access the web page of the server. So I will close this. Now I am going to send the packets from PC2 to PC1. So it's successful and you can inspect the NAT table. Go to this inspect and click on router 1. Go to NAT table. You can see the inside global, inside local, where the private IP address is mapped to the public IP address. So as you can see the NAT table, we close this. That's it guys. Thank you for watching guys.